Philson, do you endorse this mess? Do you endorse this? Do you do you approve this mess? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 72. It's another day of uh, grind today. We'll see where it goes after this. Gonna figure it all out, but today... I need to actually buy some vitamins I ran out. Just waiting for that paycheck to come in, you know what I mean? Still got everything else. I don't know if I should go back to Ashwagandha. Relax, restore, unwind. This is what I take right now. Uh, well, not right now, but like, this is what I've been taking. I don't know, maybe one day I should get back into it. Uh, today's not that day, though. Maybe April. Got my morning routine done. I should actually start getting back into... Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I should get back into, but another one is meditating it's helped me out a lot so i should get back into it you feel me you feel for those of you that don't know i do manage this uh dolly daycare that um you doing all right emmy emmy doesn't go here often so it's it's definitely a different experience for her in there at emmy see if i can entice her with a milk bone let's see brody i know you'll be enticed no you interested what if i give you hold on you know, it's something I do take pride in. It's definitely something a lot different. Cause I've never really worked a job that I have, like, the authority, I guess. Yes, I do have a lot of authority in this place. And I guess um, we'll go over the pros and cons as to what it's like being a manager. And to kind of preface two things, this isn't, like, you know, a big multi-billion dollar company. This is literally a doggy daycare that... That's a local one, as well as I'm not the best manager, but I am working on definitely trying to improve every single day and becoming a better and more of like a leader. In my life, I've never really been much of a leader, to be honest with you. So over time, I've just been kind of working on just getting better, dealing with stuff head on. There's a lot of things I could improve on, but I feel like there's a lot of things that I've learned and I've actually done pretty well. Considering like everything, like this is, this is my first time ever being a manager. This is my first time being a boss. There's a lot of things that go into this and there's a lot of positive and there's definitely some negatives to it, but that'll be something that we go over soon. As I've mentioned, there's definitely a lot of responsibilities. There's a lot of skills that you need to, um, to have to be able to run a business in general. A lot of it's making sure that your employees are, are, are in line. A lot of it's also making sure that uh, the business is still running, still making money, still, you know, um, flourishing. And a lot of that just comes from your mindset. Alright, let's put this in WWE terms. Are you more of a Triple H or are you more of a Tony Khan? To me, I feel like I have a mix of both. I'm kind of leaning towards more of a Tony Khan, but I want to definitely be on that Triple H side. For those of you that don't get the reference, Tony Khan's the president of AEW and he's more of like a want to be friends with the superstars type of deal, but Triple H is actually like a leader. Of course, he wants to be cool with the superstars, but he, he, you know, he's definitely a leader. He's a much better leader than uh, Tony Khan, and that's kind of what I what I aspire to be. Coming from a little 21-year-old, it's, it's hard, because in general, I guess you wouldn't be taken as seriously because, you know, you're a young guy, but that just comes with um, making sure that your mindset's on the right place. Part of the managerial duties is also taking care of technology. I'm not sure why this is not working. I don't know why. The, the screen wasn't turning on. Gotta take care of this too. One of the least fun stuff is dealing with technology sometimes. But you know what? I like dealing with computers. It's all good. I'm thinking it's a video card issue, but I, I don't, I can't imagine why. We're literally just running like files, bro. First thing is when there's, you know, computer issues is clean out the dust. It's still still being wonky. I don't really know what's wrong with the computer. It just won't turn on. I took out the graphics card. I thought it would fix it, but no, I guess not. Yeah, manager problem. What's up, everyone? Emmy's not having fun here. She got her nails done at, a, a, at the groomer, so we didn't really want to go home. We just went straight here. Dachshunds, well, this dachshund specifically does not like to be around dogs, other people. Let's talk about managers. As I mentioned, I am a manager. There's a lot of things that I've experienced. I've been doing this for, let's say two years now, two years. And overall, it's been great. I've learned a lot of stuff. The customers here, luckily, are pretty nice compared to like food industry or retail, whatever. I've definitely dealt with a couple of uh, stinkers, but you know what? For the most part, it's been really good. I mentioned earlier that I wanted to be a bit of a Triple H and not like a, not, not a Tony Khan. Being in this position, you have to be a leader because it's in the name. You manage stuff. I'm not built for this, but I'm going to make sure that I'm, I'm adapted. It's been pretty hard coming from serving, cashiering, all that kind of stuff to having this own thing. This position that takes initiative is the one that controls everything because uh, technically I am an owner of this place too especially for a 21 year old you know what there, that's no excuse let's talk about pros let's talk about pros people interrupting me with my talks that's not one of the i think it's appropriate actually to start off with the cons instead all right we'll start off with the cons the cons being it can be a bit stressful 
I'll say that 100%. Being a manager of a dog daycare, dealing with a lot of dogs, dealing with customers, dealing with people. Here, you deal with people's family member pretty much, right? And there's this pressure of making sure that they're treated the best. Just like any other job, make sure that you your, your product sells the best or you make sure your product is the best. This one is that you make sure that your dog is safe. The dog is, you know, treated well. Treated well is pretty easy. <laughs> You know, making sure your customer's family member is safe, you know, it's the king of their house or the queen of their house or, you know, their child, you know what I mean? It's a very important thing to keep keep in mind. And I'm not the one to take full credit of this because uh, the dog watchers are the ones that do all that hard work. With that being said, dealing with a bunch of domesticated animals, uh, at the end of the day, they are still animals. Being in a dog daycare, they're po it poses a risk of dogs fighting yeah dogs fighting that's pretty much it it is up to us that these guys are taking care of as soon as we can as soon as that fight happens boy you better get in there and you know hold them apart because you, you, you never know what could happen it's happened before I, that's just being real i've seen some daycares here that are like oh no these dogs are perfect these dogs are the great no let's just be real here it's a more controlled dog park because we make sure their vaccinations are taken care of we make sure that these guys are tested in here that's what we call an assessment day we make sure that they're not like aggressive dogs or anything but it still happens that's something we can't really control but if it does happen that's what we tell the parents there has been some cases that you know a dog has gone hurt that comes to me because i'm the one that has to talk to the parents and i'm the one that has to tell them what's going on and depending on the parents they either react really well about it they're like oh you know happens daycare blah 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 or you could have the complete other side which uh they freak out as part of being a manager you have to be controlled you have to make sure that you know the customer is always right the truth is sometimes they're not right but at the very least you have to hear them out first as i mentioned bro i can't I get that Sounds good to see that. Of course that comes with negatives because a lot of it, like I said, is just dealing with the customers. A lot of the customers are really great. We've had some dogs that, you know, get into a fight and, you know, they, they get injured. A lot of the people take it really well because they understand that, one, they signed a waiver for this, and two, they're dogs at the end of the day. The only thing that you can control is breaking them apart. It's up to me to make sure that they're informed and they're calm down if we have to cover any expenses whatever all that kind of stuff it is up to me at the end of the day to allow that to happen see the thing is a lot of these cons you can kind of turn them into a into a pro because it's just a small minority that um this happens to luckily what we have right now this group that we got is a plus however we had this one wave i think it was the end of 2022 we went through like i'd say five employees in like a, a couple months a lot of them were literally just people that come in stay for a week and no show for the rest of the time that puts a big inconvenience to us because we schedule things a month ahead so if we put you on the schedule for a month and you don't show up for the rest of the three weeks that's a problem that's really annoying because who has to cover for it? Some of the other employees, but most of the time it's me. That puts an inconvenience on me, that puts an inconvenience on the other people, some of the customers, all that kind of stuff. It's unfortunate. Like I said, most of the employees that I've had the pleasure of working with, they've been really good. There has been some of those that are a little bit wonky. It's been a little bit stressful just being the one to take care of things. Obviously, we don't pay the other guys to do that. I've been the one to deal with, you know, the the back end, the paperwork, the promotional things, all that kind of stuff, making sure that, you know, social media is up to date. I'm actually going to start working on getting or expanding the social medias because that's pretty important. The previous owners, they believed in um, local advertising, let's say advertising in papers, newspapers, all that kind of stuff. But what I believe in is the new age, which is social media. A lot of that comes down to me and um, I've mentioned about my anxiety before. That does take like a bit of a toll because it's like, oof, I have to do this, 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 and that. It is a lot to try to balance all this because this isn't just, I show up for 12 to 6, 30, and that's it, you know? I have to do a lot of stuff on the outside too. Keeping track of all that at the same time with balancing, you know, now with YouTube, everything that comes under the YouTube umbrella, you know? I have to balance all that with work. It is a lot but it's not really the most um, negative. Like I said, you could turn this into a positive. This isn't really like the worst thing imaginable. So, all right, it's time to talk about the pros. I have Filson to endorse, in, endorse this message. I guess to kind of on, uh, to kind of add on top of everything else, being a manager, you have to learn everything. When I say everything, everything. Specifically this job, you have to learn the cleaning, 
the dogs. You have to learn all the dogs because otherwise you're gonna look stupid if you don't know any of the or if you don't know all the dogs. You have to know how things are ran, everything, boy, prices, hour, all that kind of stuff. Good thing I have a pretty good memory. I guess in the beginning of the transition between the old owners and the, and us, learning all that was pretty hard. I'll say. And having all the information is important because employees here they look up to me. They they make sure that they they ask me if you know they ask me all these questions. I, I run this place. <laughs> they ask me questions. They ask me for solutions, answers, all that kind of stuff. And it's up to me to make sure that I have all the answers and if I don't we have to figure something out and also I guess making sure that my knowledge is shared with everyone else because if someone's not following the rules not following how I want the business to be ran I gotta tell them hey I gotta guide them to the right direction and I've been working on that some because I'm not the person to be like so confrontational I'm not really the biggest confrontational person but I'm working on making sure that if something's not right I'm gonna say something. Besides that, we'll move on to the pros. Um, if I have more stuff to bring up, I'll, you know, bring it up. But, Wilson, do you endorse this mess? Do you endorse this? Do you, do you approve this mess? All right, we've talked enough about the, the cons. We're gonna talk about the pros. There's a lot of pros, I'll say. Being put in this position was so out of nowhere for me, but I'm glad I took the spot because I've learned a lot when it comes to being a manager. I've learned a lot when it comes to everything, really. And honestly, it stems outside of just business. And that I can only, like be grateful for. Leadership. I have always been the type of person back then to just be, I still am go with the flow type of person, but, but starting this whole adventure, I've definitely been more assertive. I've definitely been more upfront in the front lines. And I've done a lot of being the one that takes charge, that makes decisions. Prior to this, like I said, I've never really been the type of person that does that. And it's definitely caused a positive shift. Making decisions under pressure type of deal too. It was a situation like last year where I had to be the one to make sure that everything was okay. I was the one to definitely make decisions because it was a stressful situation. Although it took a lot out of me mentally, it definitely taught me a lot. Being able to deal with stressful situations stems from, I'd say, hard times and uh, we've had hard times here that day that I had to be the one in the front lines that was one of those hard days I just need to imply it more in more situations rather than just this place and a few other things I've made some relationships with the, the customers, you know what I mean? You know, when they come in, they're like, hey, how's it going? You know, they know me and I know them. If I was the one just constantly in the back and stuff, I'd just be, you know, kind of shelled in my own little area. But being in the front has taught me skills to, like, let's say, talk to people. I've gone a lot better at talking with people. I've gone a lot better at, you know, I'm having good conversations, having lighthearted conversations. And with that, I made some fun friendships with the people that come here. And it's great. It's made like a community. You know what I mean? They know me as like the more like, I guess, relaxed type of upfront person, a more relaxed type of manager uh, compared to the last one. That's that's how I want to be. I want to be the one that like, if you have some criticism, make sure to, you know, come to me and we'll handle it. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I've, uh, I've always been the type of person to not be the one to confront people. And I still am working on that. I, I do want to be the one that like, you know, if there is a confrontation, I want to make sure that it is settled. If you're not able to do that, then you're really not going to get far. I think with this, it's helped me a little bit being able to handle stressful situations, but on top of the stressful situations, confront that stressful situation. I've been the type of person to like, if there's a tough situation, I've been the one to just kind of avoid it and kind of stay clear of it. That's why I said in the cons, um, a lot of the cons that I did mention, you can kind of turn this around into a pro because although I have dealt with a lot of like pressure, I guess when it comes to uh, managerial stuff, I guess, it, and it doesn't help my anxiety or whatever, like it has piqued my anxiety sometimes. At the end of the day, it did teach me a lot, which is kind of all I can ask for, you know what I mean? Life is all about learning, man. So, you know, you fuck up, you learn. You, you know, you do something good, you learn from it too. A good manager can take a little bit of freedom and use that as a good thing. And another manager could also take that as like a, like something to take advantage of. Yes, I get paid a certain amount here. It's like a salary thing. That, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But I have more freedom than some of the employees, which in the hierarchy of any job, that's usually how it is. The manager just gets more freedom, I guess. I guess when I say freedom, I'm meaning time. I have more time to uh, outside of work and I have more time to uh, work on the back end. As I mentioned, this isn't just a job that I just show up and leave and don't worry about it. No, I have to constantly worry about this. So having more time is an opportunity for me to just make sure that you know, the business is running well. Any paperwork that needs to be done is taken care of. Hell, this computer back here, I have to fix that. So the nice thing about having more freedom and more time, if anything does go awry, I can take care of it. Let's say someone can't show up, 
they call me, which is fair because, you know, I don't have as many hours as some other people here. If there's a problem, if someone can't show up, I cover. And if, you know, technology, you know, fucks up and stuff, I'll be the one to take care of it, which is a trade. Would I rather be here 40, 50 hours a week like I used to back then and not have to deal with this stuff or have less hours, but also have time to take care of stuff that might, you know, might be a problem. I think I'd rather take the second option, to be honest. I guess adding on to building a community with the customers, I've also kind of built this, like, click with uh, with the employees. Like, outside of business, us as, like, the co-workers and stuff, we, we, we built this, like, little community within ourselves. Because there's definitely some workplaces out there that, like, you know, the manager is, like, the hierarchy and doesn't really care about the employees. Like, I care about my employees, man, for real. They're my bros, man. They're my friends. Outside of the business stuff, which I'll get into uh, in a little bit, we've created this, like, little bond between us, and it makes all of us more stronger. That's kind of how I like to run the business a little bit because uh, it's like the little Tony Khan in me, but also at the same time having that Triple H too. Because there's nothing worse than being out of touch with the business and just running it off of the top of your head and not being able to like listen to your employees. And part of the employees being able to, you know, um, tell you something that's either wrong or you're doing well at is having a good bond with them. It's a lighthearted community in here. You don't want to get stuck in your own little ego that like you're the boss so you know you can do whatever you want. No man. I want to make sure that people can tell me stuff and I can tell them stuff without any like filters. It creates a good relationship with the employees but also I do want to make sure at the end of the day that when it comes to business business is business. It's much easier to be able to tell someone like, hey, you got to do this, you got to do that. Hey, you got to improve this, you got to improve that. If your employees are your, you know, your friends too. It creates a less drama filled workplace. I hate drama. I don't like when there's beef between my employees, which there has been. I just don't like having that. So part of my job, in my eyes at least as a manager, is to make sure that these guys get along because, you know, you, these guys are stuck with each other for 6, 12, 10 hours a day. If they can't get along, business is not going to run well. For you managers out there, if you are a manager of a place, you don't have to be buddy buddies with your employees. But just make sure that there is love and respect for each other to make sure that everything's all good. Being good little buddy buddies with your employees isn't needed. It's kind of just a choice that I've made. One of the things that I've been kind of like moving into more and more is making sure that personal and business is clearly distinct. Outside of work, if you're clocked out, you know, we're hanging out. Personal, we're all good, you know, we're chill. If you're clocked in and you're working, I want to make sure that everything's done. That just comes with more assertiveness and more leadership skills type of deal because at the end of the day, I, I want to make sure that this place is making money. I want 100% cooperation with the other people. All right, I just went on a tangent there. I've been recording for like 21 minutes, Jesus. Stay with me. That's I'm injured. I'm injured. I'm injured. I'm injured. <laughs> so Riley got his grooming thing done, and I'm pretty sure they got the nail trim done too. Even though he like chews on his nail, I think they still try to get the nails done, and he like clawed on me or whatever, so... Yeah, that's kind of what it led to.